Replit Agent versus Bolt.new. Which of these platforms should you use? Both of these platforms allow everyday people to build software with AI in just minutes. In this video, I'm gonna be testing both of them to build a full software in just 10 minutes. After that, I'm gonna give my thoughts on which platform I think is best, so make sure to stick to the end of this video to see my thoughts. So what exactly are we going to be building in this video? I'm gonna be attempting to build a software that allows you to generate a podcast simply by writing in a text prompt. I'm gonna be using ChatGPT to generate the script and 11 labs to actually turn the script into voices. All right, those are all the details you need to know. Let's dive right into this to see which platform is better at building an app with zero coding experience whatsoever. All right, so we're gonna start this with bolts.new and see what it could come up with. So I copy and pasted a basic prompt here. Create a podcast generator which takes in any given topic then generates a short podcast script for a co-hosted podcast with two hosts, Sam and Grace. Along with that initial prompt, I also did copy and paste the docs for OpenAI as well as 11 Labs. As you can see on the right hand side, you could actually see the code being generated by Bolt. And on the left hand side, this is where we interact with our prompt in order to write out in natural language what we're trying to build. Replit Agent and Bolt both have a pretty similar user interface where on the left hand side, you write in the prompt and the right hand side is where the code is written. Bolt Agent is now asking us to make sure the .env file is there and it actually went ahead and did it. So I said, you already did that. Now it's actually saying there's an error. So in the Bolt Agent, I actually go ahead and let it know that there's actually an error so it could then check it for us. One thing I found that is really helpful, if there's ever an error, just copy and paste it and then type it back into the agent and that way it knows what it can do to figure out the error. In the preview, it is now showing us a blank screen here. So I went ahead and I copy and pasted what it shows in the code. And that way it could actually go ahead and fix itself. Fast forward here just a little bit, it goes ahead, fix the error. And now you can actually see it is working how we want it to. Here is a basic user interface that it actually gives us called Podcast Generator and let's test it out. All right, now we actually tested it out and it generated a script for us for a basic podcast called Test Topic, um, which is pretty funny, but this is pretty cool. Let's play around with this and actually make this work exactly how we want it to. Here is the audio, so let's take a listen. Hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm your host, Sam. And I'm Grace. Today, we're going to be covering a very interesting topic. That is awesome. So now let's actually change the user interface just slightly to make it a little bit better. Fast forward here as we let it do its thing and write the code and let's see what it comes up with. Hopefully it comes up with something cool. All right, so now let's actually generate a new script and this is gonna be the future of AI. Click generate and now you can see it has a collapsible script here that shows us a full script for a podcast um, that is kind of talking about the future of AI. Welcome back to our podcast, folks. Today, we're diving into a topic that has been on everyone's minds lately, the future of artificial intelligence, or AI for short. Amazing, so now we have actually built out a podcast generator with Bolt.new in under about three minutes. That is absolutely awesome. Let's go ahead and paste that same exact script that we used for Replit Agent and see what we could build with this platform. Fast forward just a little bit, it's actually thinking and reviewing the instructions and it's gonna go ahead and build out a prototype or a plan for us to go through. So you can see now it has this prototype and we could select any of these additional features that we want to, which is really cool. I like this user interface. Let's go ahead and approve the basic prototype and then build from there. Now, I guess this is a good time to point out that Replit Agent does allow you to get suggestions from the AI itself. It kind of acts like a project manager and Bolt.new does not have that feature. So if you want a platform that actually suggests different features for you and helps you build and kind of come up with a creative vision, then Replit Agent is really good for that. As of now, Bolt.new does not have that. Let's go ahead and let this thing write the script and the code and see what it builds for the initial prototype. So after about four to five minutes of actually trying to debug, it finally spit out this initial prototype here with the podcast generator. So let's go ahead and write in the same initial prompt that we used for the uh, Bolt.new application, test it and see what happens in order to compare. As you can see, we're actually presented with an error. So that's not a great start at all. Um, we did not get this error with Bolt. So we go ahead, copy paste that into our Replit agent and see if it could then debug it itself. I set this part to 10x speed to speed through this part, but it actually go ahead and debugs it. And then now it's asking if it is visible on the homepage. So let's try again and see if the bug was fixed. 
All right, so here we go. It looks like it generated something, but the audio files actually don't show that there are any audio there. So let's go ahead and tell it that it is not working completely. And then also we wanna combine these into one podcast and not two separate audio files. So let's see if it's able to fix this. So you can see now it generated the script and it generated the two separate audios, but it also had the combined podcast audio file as well. What a great perspective, Grace. Thanks everyone for tuning into this discussion about the art and significance of testing. We hope you found some food for thought. So now that we built out both of these different softwares, what we want to try to do is test out how easy it is to deploy them. So let's try to deploy it on Bolt. As you can see, we ran into a quick error here. Let's try to troubleshoot it. I'm going to fast forward this part at 5x speed because I had to actually go ahead and tell it to deploy the site um, about two or three times. Once after I did that, it started kind of troubleshooting all of this and I tried to figure out what the issue was. Um, and then I had to write just a simple little line of code there. Um, and then it finally actually uh, was able to deploy. Usually it's a bit easier to deploy on bolt.new from what I've seen. Um, however, we finally get it to deploy and then you could see this live website and it generates a podcast for us. All right, so now we're actually trying to deploy our site for Repl Agent. I'm going to see how this compares to Bolt. This actually took a lot more time. I'm speeding this up. It's about 10x here uh, based on how long it took. It probably took about 10 minutes for this to deploy, whereas Bolt was really quick, even though Bolt did have two errors, but it was pretty easy to troubleshoot through. So I would definitely say that Bolt wins this category as far as being able to deploy a site instantly. So it actually went ahead and deployed it finally, but when I click generate podcast, it basically didn't do anything for another couple of minutes. It took about three minutes or so for it to do anything. Now it finally generates it, and here is the podcast. You nailed it, Grace. Tests are just one tool in our arsenal for evaluation. We hope you found our discussion enlightening. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you, listeners, for tuning in. And remember, you are more than just your test scores. All right, so first of all, let's talk about some of the pros of Repl Agent and what makes it really awesome. So first thing I wanna mention is that the initial prototype that Repl Agent gave us versus Bolt.new was way better than what Bolt actually gave us. Honestly, if I've spent more time on the prompt for Bolt.new, I could have gotten something probably pretty similar or even better than Repl Agent, but the fact that it took a simple prompt and built something that looks a bit more attractive to the eye was pretty impressive. So another thing I wanna mention, which is absolutely huge, is Repl agent actually adds additional features that it suggests to you in order to make the software even better. It kind of acts as a project manager walking you through the process of taking your idea and turning it into a full application and Bolt does not have something like that. That could be an absolutely massive feature if you're somebody that has a small idea but don't really know what you want to implement but if you're somebody that has an exact idea of what you want to build then maybe Bolt is better for you but Replit is good for helping in the creative process. So the last pro I want to talk about for Repl Agent in this, for the sake of this video is that it's better for building full production apps that you could actually launch and go ahead and sell. So what I mean by that is it's more of a robust platform that has actual coding aspects to it, as opposed to just building a simple MVP, minimum viable product that you could actually test the market with. So if you wanna build full applications, maybe Repl Agent is better for you. All right, now let's talk about the cons of using Repl Agent as opposed to Bolt.new. So one thing I wanna say is Repl Agent took much longer to build and code on the back end. So when you would write in a prompt, it would take ages for it to actually spit out a prototype or make iterations and changes on what you built. That is a massive con is the amount of time it actually takes to build something with it. This goes kind of hand in hand, but there are lots of bugs with Repl Agent. What I mean by this is there are a lot of errors and you have to go ahead and try to troubleshoot them yourself. And for me, as somebody that is not a coder, has no technical background at all, it is a bit of an experience to try to debug these things myself. And I didn't run into that issue with Bolt. It was pretty easy to debug these errors without having to actually get technical and write code. Another thing I want to say is Repl Agent almost tries to do too much. It kind of gets ahead of itself. It comes up with ideas in order to implement, but I've noticed that that causes issues when it comes to actually implementing and building the platform. You know, this is where it runs into these bugs and errors that I'm unable to 
figure out myself. It's almost because it's like trying to run too quickly and it's almost trying to do too much is the best way to put it. The last thing I wanna say for the cons of Repli Agent as opposed to Bolt.new is deploying the app took forever. I mean, it took probably 10, 15 minutes after I clicked the deploy button, there were some errors that it ran into. And even when I deployed the app, it wasn't running perfectly. It was taking forever to actually spit out the podcast and generate it, whereas Bolt was extremely easy to build, deploy, and then you know actually use when the application was live. All right, so now on to Bolt and what are the pros of using this platform? Bolt.new is a brand new platform that's kind of a competitor to Repli Agent. It's come on the scene, piggybacking off the hype that Repli Agent has, kind of lives up to its name of Bolt. I wanna say the main difference with Bolt is it is better for building things quickly. Repli Agent was just archaically slow when it came to building these things out or even fixing bugs, whereas Bolt, for whatever reason, was just really quick at building things. I think, like I said, Repli Agent almost tries to do too much, whereas Bolt is good at kind of solving a simple problem or giving you the ability to just build a simple solution really quickly. Bolt is great for taking an idea and turning it into a very basic app that functions and is able to kind of validate in the market whether or not it works. And so I think that is why Bolt kind of stood out to me, um, especially with the fact that it is just so fast at deploying these applications. This goes basically hand in hand with what I was saying as far as the speed behind it, but it's better at getting it in one shot as opposed to having having to make multiple iterations and make a bunch of changes inside of our prompt. I noticed that I could just say what I wanted and build it, whereas Repli Agent wouldn't understand something or it tried to do too much. I think the like whole point of this video is saying Repli Agent tries to do too much. Bolt is really quick at doing the basics. I uh, hope you guys got some value from this. I'm not a coder. Um, it's interesting testing out these no code platforms in order to build software. I thought this was a pretty cool use case. This is kind of like a knockoff notebook LM um, at a very, very basic level. Uh, you know, being able to take um, an idea and turning it into an audio podcast using ChatGPT and 11 Labs instantly. Really, really cool. The fact that I could build this with these platforms in and of itself is amazing. But hope you guys got some value from that. I think Repli Agent is better for building real applications, takes a lot more time, it's a bit more complex, whereas Bolt, really easy to build really fast, take an idea and turn it into a product, extremely easy. So if you guys want more content like this, please leave a like, leave a comment on what your thoughts were and subscribe. I'm gonna have much, much more content like this. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.